YouTube, it's Anthony here, and I am recording a Lightroom editing tutorial. So yesterday I was able to fly my drone at Papago Park. What you're looking at is not Papago Park, this is Sedona. I'm about to import the images right now to Lightroom 2020. So we're gonna do that by going to the plus symbol, browse. So here are the photos, we're gonna select them all. I do recommend whether you're editing with Lightroom on the Mac or editing with Lightroom on your PC or your phone, you should always be editing raw photos. That's how you get the best light. Now, of course, you have to capture them raw. So make sure you're, when you're capturing your photos that you're capturing them in raw. Your file sizes will be bigger, but your photos will look way nicer and you'll have a lot more control over the editing process. All the photos are imported right here. Now, normally you cannot fly a drone at Papago Park, but I actually got Lank, Lank or Lance authorization. It's the it's the federal government's tool to get authorization near airports, and it's really easy to get authorization on your phone. I had a flight ceiling of 100 feet, so. I couldn't go that high up, but I still got some excellent landscape shots. It's loaded in right here. It's a really nice uh, landscape shot. So now that we've got our first photo open, I'm going to go over some of the editing tools. So right here on the right side, we have our main editing tool. This is where you can edit exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, temperature, tint, vibrance saturation you also you you also have access to effects like texture clarity and dehaze as well as vignette you can do split toning so you can basically color correct certain parts of the image and then you can adjust the details so there's a lot of really cool tools here as well as lens correction so this does have a built-in lens corrector if you do have like a fisheye effect or you know your image just looks warped or distorted is the word i was looking for if your image looks distorted you can fix it with enabling lens correction or you can manually do it yourself i like to do it myself a lot of the times when you take drone photos you might get a distorted image now luckily with this image it doesn't look like there was any distortion done i'll show you how i edit my photos what I start with first is shadows. I like to increase this and brighten it up. Very rarely I'll go to 100, but I'll keep it at like 70. Next, we're gonna adjust the temperature. Just warm it up a little bit. Saturation, probably not a lot. This is one of my favorite tools, dehaze. It just takes that haziness out of an image and really brings the details out. Like notice the mountains as I adjust it, how much detail comes in. So I like to dehaze my photos. Be careful how much you use. If you use a lot, it's really overwhelming. So definitely keep that to a minimum if you can. So we're gonna keep it right there. Really when you're editing, it's all about playing with the photo and really just seeing what looks good to you. It's, it's an art. So you wanna, you, you can be creative. Like nobody's gonna tell you how you should edit something. You know, there's certain things that you can do to make it more visually pleasing. Like I don't like photos that look over edited because I used to over edit photos and now I'm like a lot a lot more careful with how I edit my photos. You can be honest with me too. If my photos look over edited, you can let me know in the comments what you think. But I've always tried to make sure that my photos don't look like that. So anyway, I'm gonna play with the blacks here. See if I can get some darker, more dramatic shadows. Maybe lower. No, leave that, the exposure up. Honestly, I think this photo's done. It looks great. I really like the tones, and it's just a really cool shot. So the way you can export it is you go up here to this box with the arrow sticking out. 
you hit on export it'll open up the export window I like to export my photos in JPEG format I keep the quality size 100% and I always stick with full size so we're gonna hit export photo and then this is where you choose to save it to so hold on I'm gonna get that get these saved in the right spot oh, I'm gonna call this folder final edits create and export up here you'll see this little export thing and it disappeared quickly because the photos exported so we can move on now this is a really cool shot I'm not sure if I got another no I just took that one shot that was stupid normally I take multiple shots of one subject just to make sure that I get it right but this looks great because I, I take my drone photos in five different brackets so I take five different shots and then I connect them together and it's like an HDR photo it just brings out more detail and I feel that I have more control over light when I do that so this road is straight so I'm gonna make it straight with the distort tool here I just pulled that out and it fixed the distortion in this photo and then these unattractive white spots here you can get rid of by doing the constrain crop and that'll fix that for you so let's move on and mess with the shadows here i like to bring them up a little bit just to get more detail lower the blacks to bring out shadows raise the temperature saturation we're gonna dehaze we're gonna lower the saturation to zero again i don't know this isn't like my favorite shot but I'm gonna save it so this shot right here is a really cool shot because it's directly into the Sun I love to take shots like this I use ND filters by polar pro for my DJI Mavic 2 and it really helps make shots like these possible because if I didn't have those filters I wouldn't be able to shoot directly into the Sun like this so right off the bat here with this photo I'm seeing some distortion and I wanna get that fixed. So we're gonna pull it out a little bit, fix that horizon line, that looks way better. Constrain crop. And then for the sake of this photo, I actually am gonna crop it a little bit in like this. Position it, double click, there we go. That looks better to me it's a little bit more focused we've got this awesome golf course in the foreground we've got the phoenix sky harbor airport in the background we have downtown phoenix to the right here so it's really a cool shot so right off the bat we're gonna go to the dehaze tool and look at that look at how it just brings out that color we're gonna adjust the temperature we're actually gonna raise it and shadows we'll play with that oh my computer froze there we go I don't think we're gonna mess with vibrance or saturation clarity we can adjust a little bit I'm actually gonna crop it a little bit more not too much I don't want to lose too much of downtown yeah, and I think that's good. Honestly, I really like how this picture looks. It's a really cool shot into the sun. Let's save it. I just really like how this one looks. I like the way I set up the composition here. And that like flash from the sun is really cool. We're going to fix some of this distortion that I see. Constrain crop. Shadows. So you're kind of getting like a hint on how I well not a hint you're actually seeing how I edit my photos I just really play with the same things shadows temperature saturation dehaze on every single photo because it's a great tool and it really just is honestly a lifesaver I, I think it brings out so much detail in your photos and really just makes your photos pop by the way guys at the end of this video I am going to do a slideshow of all the edited photos now this was a really awesome shot this shot I took at golden hour like right as the Sun was touching the horizon and 
it just the tones from it are really cool and i i like stood away from the drone like looking out toward the mountain and i just think it's awesome so i'm gonna look through these so i'm gonna crop this one in give it a more dramatic look but now we cut out some of the mountains hmm it might actually just look good like this honestly so i'm gonna adjust the shadow here definitely gonna do some dehazing wow just brings out that detail another awesome shot with the sun at the horizon i did a low perspective like that i think i'm gonna edit both perspectives definitely a lot of distortion in this one And string crop there we go we're gonna crop this down I intended on this shot being a vertical shot anyway when I was taking it shadows temperature some saturation some vibrance maybe a little less saturation dehaze I'm gonna play with a paintbrush too. Now the paintbrush is cool because this is where you can color correct specific parts of your image. So right now I have the shadow set to 78, exposure up by one, uh, temperature up, I'm gonna lower that. And basically I'm gonna adjust the brush size. We're gonna get this area a little bit brighter looking. See how it looks. It's a little bit laggy. I don't like the lagginess. It's my computer though, so. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. And I'm gonna play with the vignette. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's on this page. This page, this tab right here. Vignette right here is vignette. So if I go this way, it's a black vignette. If I go the other way, it's a white vignette. I like black vignette for sure. And I don't want to do too much. I just want it to pull the focus to me and the sun. And I think that looks good. I think the vignette definitely achieved what I was trying to have it achieve. And I just like the look of this shot. So I'm definitely going to save it. Now this is the lower perspective. It's kind of cool because we got some planes up here in the sky the sun's a little bit lower on the horizon you can still see the control tower to sky harbor and you can still see downtown phoenix so i'm gonna fix this distortion right here pull this down line this up properly Perfect, and now we're gonna play with shadows. We'll raise them all the way up. Mm, not all the way up. Dehaze. Let's see if that paintbrush looks good. I'm gonna raise the size of it so that I can do more. Let's see, still loading. It kind of looks cool. It's like I'm standing in the desert, looking out at the city in the desert. <laughs> it looks cool. So we're gonna play with the temperature, clarity, saturation. I think that looks good. All right, we'll save this one. So guys, that was all the photos I edited from this photo shoot at Papago Park. It was awesome to shoot these photos and I cannot wait to share them on Instagram. Anyway, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, definitely check out my page at Ants Drone, A-N-T-S Drone. I will leave the link in the description. Definitely follow me and keep up to date with my YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you find out when I upload new videos. YouTube's algorithm can make it hard for people to see videos even though they're subscribed to somebody. So hitting that notification bell will definitely help.
but yeah if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and if i get you know a good reaction from it maybe i'll make more lightroom related videos i just wanted to give you a little peek into my editing process with lightroom i hope you guys enjoy the cinematic drone videos that i've been uploading it's been awesome sharing that content with you guys and i am definitely creating more i d i did take a lot of video at this shoot too so you will see a papago park video very soon anyway guys i will see you in the next video take care